What's up everybody? Today I'm making another pregnancy related video. I'm going to be talking about what items I use to prepare my body for labor, what I'm going to be packing in my hospital bag for my labor and delivery, and also just some items that I use that I feel are extremely necessary for a woman after she gives birth. The first item I have is raspberry leaf tea. And the second item is evening primrose oil. I use both of these items for my first pregnancy with Imari. And this is actually left over from my first pregnancy with Imari. Does it have an expiration date? March, 2021. Damn, so I'm gonna have to buy some more of this, but I'm not planning on taking this until I'm 35 weeks. I'm 34 weeks today. I'm gonna order some more of this off of Amazon because this is expired. Helps to minimize your bleeding after delivery and it also strengthens your uterus, which is very beneficial. Evening primrose oil, these are gel capsules. So what I did with when I was pregnant with Imari, I didn't start these until I was 37 weeks. It takes a couple weeks for it to kick in. So right around 39 to 40 weeks, it should soften your cervix by then. But that's what it does, it softens your cervix. What I do is puncture the pill and then I stick it up my vagina and I do this at bedtime so that it doesn't slip out. And what that does, it allows for the primrose oil to go directly on your cervix, which is a faster result to soften your cervix. Definitely do your own research, but I found these very beneficial in my first pregnancy. And then moving forward to what I'm packing in my hospital bag, I just have this Victoria's Secret tote. And in the tote, I'm obviously going to be packing like um, just in case shampoo, conditioner, travel size, body wash, and stuff like that. But I'm not going to get into that because those aren't really pertaining specifically to delivery. Those are just for your everyday hygiene. So I'm not going to get into that. These next two items, they go hand in hand. The first item is the granny panties, of course. You need some granny panties because you're going to have some big ass pads that are going to be lining these panties. And the second item is a pair of Sphinx. I just like everything to be tight and snug. I wanna make sure that pad is not moving. I wanna feel, you know, my belly. I want it to feel tight. And these pair of Sphinx are a size small. I got these off of Amazon. Speaking of pads, I personally use, I don't like the diapers. I have seen women in reviews get the diapers almost. I, I don't know what to call it, but like women diaper underwear. I personally just use pads. They're long as hell. They go from your vagina all the way damn near to the end of your butt crack. This is what I'll be bringing with me to the hospital because I don't like the pads. And if you've given birth before, then you already know they're humongous and uncomfortable. And if you haven't given birth yet, then just know the ones that they give you at the hospital are huge and uncomfortable. Moving forward, what I have also for your lady part is a peri bottle. I got this off of Amazon as well. I used it for Imari. The one that they give you in a hospital kind of just looks like a condiment, you know, like something that they put in ketchup or mustard and it just squirts out. But this one specifically has a nozzle on it and this is for vaginal delivery. After you give birth, that first drop of piss gonna send your cooch to hell. You wanna fill this up with as hot a water as you can tolerate. I can tolerate really hot water, so I hope the hospital that I'm going to has boiling hot water because you're gonna, you're gonna need it or at least warm water. So fill this up and then when you're on the toilet, you're gonna angle it and you're gonna press the water as you're peeing so it can alleviate some of that burning feeling because I'm not joking when I say it's gonna hurt. And if you know, you know. What else do I have? Oh, I have my robe. Most likely I will be just in a row for the days that I'm in the hospital. I also have a heating pad because with Imari, my stomach cramped really bad afterwards. So at this time I got an electric one so that I don't have to constantly get up and warm up the heating pad. The last thing that I have that I probably won't use though for like a week after delivery is a postpartum waist belly support thing. So I'm gonna just insert a picture of it so you guys can see what it looks like because this really don't do no justice. It just makes you feel snug and tight. With Imari, I use the same one and it helps you slim down a lot faster. I forgot to pull these out my bag yesterday. These are breast milk savers 
and what you do is put them in your bra and put your nipple through the hole and it collects your breast milk for you. I'm not gonna be breastfeeding, but I'm still gonna be lactating. Whatever I do produce, I'll catch in here. And when you're ready to dump it out, you just pull this off and then pour it in the bottle. I like them better than the breast pads because the breast pads are just soaking up your milk and then you're throwing away your milk that's soaked up in the breast pads. Also, I'm packing this little blanket because the hospitals get cold and their blankets aren't really the best. Those are my main essentials that I feel are extremely necessary after I give a vaginal birth. That's everything that I'm packing. The only thing I'm not showing is my hygiene stuff, which is a no brainer. And then also my going home outfit, which is probably gonna be some black shorts and I don't know, something comfortable. If y'all have any tips or recommendations on what you use to prepare your body for labor and what you use after your delivery, definitely leave a comment below. I'm interested. We have to run. Eric and Imari are waiting for me, so I'm sorry to cut this short, but I'll see y'all next time.